In this video, I go over five great pieces of gear for DJs and producers under $750. Find out what those are coming up. Thank you for watching P.TV where you'll find tips, tricks, and tutorials for DJs and music performers. Now let's get into the video. The first item we have up is a controller that I think didn't get enough love. It kind of got swept under the rug with all those Pioneer controllers that were coming out around the same time. And this is the Newmark NV2. Now, this is one of the few Serato DJ controllers that have actual screens on it that give you feedback on what's going on in the software. So you can do things like see the waveforms, browse your library, see effects, all on the actual controller itself. And besides that really cool feature, what I love about this controller is that it has like full size pitch fader so you can get that real, you know, in depth really lock in the BPMs on your controller without having to kind of fiddle with it like a lot of these smaller controllers have because they have smaller you know pitch faders so big shout out to Newmark on this one I think this deserves way more credit I mean it was one of the first to have the NV series was one of the first to have the actual screens on the actual Serato DJ controller so this is still a solid controller in my opinion four channels which is awesome you know and that visual feedback really helps. I mean, I've noticed it a lot, especially using it with my Rain 72, where I'm not using the computer nearly as much when I already thought I didn't use it that often, but having the actual feedback on the decks in front of you really makes a difference. So if you're in the market for a controller and one that'll give you a way to have more interaction with the crowd, this is a steal for under $700. Next up, we have what I still think is probably the best turntable on the market, especially if you're a Serato DJ DJ. Now this is the Reloop RP8000. This is a version with the S arm, but it's also available in a straight arm version as well for the same price. So if you're more of a straight arm guy because you like cutting more, you might want to dip into that one. But I like the classic aesthetic of an S arm, so this was my choice. But what I really love about this turntable, besides the fact that it's a hand pin design, so you know it's tried and true and it's gonna last you a long time, is just the overall build quality of it. I love the finish on the top of the actual turntable it really reminds me of the older techniques m5g with that kind of glossy kind of glittery finish and on top of that that screen right above the pitch fader that not only gives you that pitch feedback so you know how much plus or minus you are on the pitch fader but when you're connected to serato dj you actually get the actual bpm on the turntable so going back to seeing visual feedback like with that Newmark NV seeing the BPM on the actual turntable really takes your eyes off the screen and just allows you to you know be more in tune with the actual hardware in front of you as well as the actual MIDI buttons right at the bottom where you get cue points loops as well as your sampler and you know even you can MIDI map it to be whatever you need it to be and you can personalize it the way you want it really gives this turntable a one up in my opinion especially over the pioneer PLX 1000s now switching over to the production side of things we have one of my favorites since that i've messed around with and this is the moog sub fatty 25 so this thing was one of the first analog synthesizers that I really got a chance to sit down and mess around with and kind of learn analog synthesis with so it kind of holds a special place in my heart in that regard but what I love the most about this piece of gear is that it really has that Moog you know feel to it where all the knobs are one to one and you're not really you know shifting to different features that much and you really you can really dial in and get control of the sound you're trying to create with all the controls that are in front of you so really gives you that feel of the older you know model d and stuff like that in a more updated kind of format and just like the model d and all the other moog since you really get a nice warm fat sound so if you're looking for you know a monophonic analog synthesizer that really has some heft and really just not only sounds good but looks good in the studio the sub fatty is a great choice and now switching to the virtual analog side of things we have the new Roland TR8S. Now this is the update to the older Roland Ira TR8 that came out and this new update just has a lot of new features and really just is a great update to that drum machine. So not only does it get an RGB update across the whole entire thing, but just overall a lot of features that people and fans of the TR8 were asking for 
got put into this updated version of it. So if you were thinking about getting a TR8 in the past, but you were kind of on the fence, all the updates that they put into this newer version of it definitely makes it worth the price. So under $700, you get a great piece of rolling gear with some really classic drum machine sounds. And there's tons of kits that they've added into this. Plus the ability to add more kits just makes this a really invaluable piece of hardware for the studio or for live performance. And then finally, rounding out both the production and DJ side of things, these are the Atom Audio A7X studio monitors. Now, I know it's 750 for just one monitor, but these things sound so amazing, especially for this price. In my opinion, these are probably some of the best sounding studio monitors at this price range. I would definitely take this over even the Yamahas or the KRKs. Just the way these things sound, if you've ever gotten a chance to listen to some Atom Audio studio monitors, you'll understand exactly what I'm talking about. And what I really love about these too is that it has the actual controls on the front as well, so you're not reaching around back to the monitors to adjust the volume, especially if you don't have them hooked up to a sub mixer, you know, where you have all your other gear plugged in. So that convenience along with the great sound that these have definitely make it worth the price. So that's a look at five great pieces of gear under $750 for DJs and producers. If you're interested in purchasing any of those, links can be found down below in the description. And as always, if you found this video useful, please go ahead and give it a thumbs up. And if you haven't already, go ahead and click right here to subscribe to this channel. Or if you'd like to watch more content, go ahead and click on that video right there. And thank you for watching P.TV, where you'll find tips, tricks, and tutorials for DJs and music performers. See you next time.